Hello, welcome to Movies City Recap Channel. Today's movie is Road Trip Romance. First of all, if you like the movie recap, you can watch the whole movie to enjoy every moment in it. Spoiler awareness. Let's begin. The movie starts by Megan and Denever talking to her sister Blair whose wedding will be in a few days. Megan will be the maid of honor to his sister and she has to be in Wichita tonight. Blair asked Megan not to be late. And Megan replied neither the snow nor the rain or glom of night will keep her from her sister bachelorette party. Megan has an appointment with Mrs. O'Reilly who was in another meeting. Megan is waiting for a long time. She asked how long she will stay waiting? He answered, when Mrs. O'Reilly starts, she can go all day. Blair and her mother getting ready for her wedding. Megan finds Alden Brown coming out with Mrs. O'Reilly. They asked each other what they are doing here. Megan and Alden grown up together and went to rival high schools. Megan now is the owner of Fun for All Company. And Alden is the owner of Novelty's R Us. And both were having an appointment with Mrs. O'Reilly. Megan showed Mrs. O'Reilly her company products as a competitor to Alden's company. Megan told Blair that she met Alden and how they were competing in the high school days and that they will compete together now saying that she will win for sure. Blair asked Megan not to be late. Megan answered of course she won't. Megan has a notification on her mobile. By the way don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Megan notified about Denver airport is closed due to regional strike. Megan is going to rent a car she finds a lot of people are waiting. She asked Stella a help telling her that she needs to be in her little sister wedding. She is her maid of honor and she is hosting the party for her sister. Stella told her that she will do anything for her sister too. Alden finds Megan asked her to go with her. He is going to Wichita too. But Megan refused. Alden begged her. It was his father retirement party. So she accepted. Well played. Alden said to Megan that they can be friends now. Forgetting the high school days, Megan replied not until he returns her the regional debate champ senior year trophy that he stole. Alden answered that he won this trophy in a fair way. Alden told Megan that Colorado Springs to Wichita are sold out, telling her that the next flight will be tomorrow. Megan and Alden decided to drive there. They will have to be seven to eight hours in the car together. That's only for her sister and his dad. Megan still wants the trophy, Megan and Alden on their trip. Still talking as a competitors. They stopped in Kansas to buy some food. Hard time about that. If you can even call it genius for seeing. While getting out from the market, they found that the car was stolen. And they called the police. Alden bought a cheap car for just $4,500. Megan wasn't sure if this car will run. Blair called Megan as she received Megan's message about the car stolen asking her whose phone she send her the message. Megan told her that it's Alden Brown phone. What? <laughs> Megan and Alden continue their trip. They talked about Blair wedding. Megan consider herself the worst maid of honor. Alden told her don't to blame herself and sure her sister won't mind. Alden says he remembers Megan's sister asking to who she will got married. Megan answered Jack Evans. Alden told her that he knows him. And that he is a great guy. Great guy. Yeah. Megan told Alden to take this exit. Alden prefer to stay on the GPS. But Megan insists. While they are on their way, there is an issue with the app Megan is using. They got confused. While talking about using another app or should they would stay on the GPS, they made an accident and they need help. Megan wants to use Alden phone to give a toast to her sister. But the phone battery is just 2%. Megan sent the toast in attachment telling Blair that she can't make a call. So Blair asked her friend Della to read the toast. But Della was little shy. Blair convinced Della telling her that she is her bestie. Della starts to give the toast. If your heart is too far gone you bet- Alden called Charlie, the man who Alden bought the car from. Charlie checked the car telling them that they need to take the car to the garage. They asked if the car will be repaired tonight. Charlie answered not before tomorrow because he is off the mechanic's clock. There was a big event in the next day and all the hotels and motels are booked. So Charlie offered them to stay tonight with him and his wife Zadie. 
Alden and Megan will spend the night at a tent in Charlie Garden. Next day morning, Zadie is preparing the breakfast hope they slept well. Megan answered there was someone snoring. While taking the breakfast, Megan observed that it was Scottish Renaissance Fair Day. Charlie and Zadie told them that they live this day without electronics, phones or any kind of technology of this days, and they have to wait another day for the car to be repaired. Megan noticed something. She told Alden that people always looking forward but sometimes they need to look back to feel like a kids again, and that theater companies was supposed to give people a chance to do this. They concluded that it is difficult to go to theater family in the determined time considering that this trip is putting them in a test and they have to give themselves a chance to enjoy the day. <laughs> Zadie and Charlie introduced them to Franklin who showed some at Megan, Alden feel little jealous, Franklin invited them to participate in competitive games and have some fun. Megan and Alden walking together, talking about theater families enjoying their time. They started the fun games that Alden lost all of it until they reached to the end of the day and have to perform 16th century waltz and here is Alden chance to show his talent. <laughs> Della and Will, Jack's best man, becomes close together. Megan and Alden talking about how they enjoyed this day. While they are returning to Charlie's home, they lost the airway, spending the night together under moonlight. Alden confessed to Megan that he was a huge crush on her in high school days. Megan asked, why he didn't tell her. He answered he was doubt that she will say yes. Megan told him, sure. She would say yes. Next day they wake up. It was a shiny morning. Megan got surprised about what she is wearing. Alden told that he got this for her in the fair day to surprise her when they got to Wichita. But it was cold last night. Guess what? What? The find Charlie's house. Charlie told them that the car needs another day to be repaired. Megan said no telling Charlie, if the car won't be ready today, he should bring them a vehicle immediately. So he offered them his old car. Charlie's car wasn't speedy as Ferrari, but no problem. <laughs> Megan send message to Blair, telling her that there is a lot of traffic and maybe she will be little late. Blair told Della that she will give Megan another 20 minutes and if she didn't arrive, Della will be her maid of honor. Megan arrived and she asked Della about the church the wedding will be. Della told Megan about a wrong church as she wants to be the maid of honor and to be close to Jack's best man, Will. After a while, Della felt guilty she went to Megan telling her to forgive her sending her a wrong church. Continuing that she was afraid that Will becomes attracted to Megan when he see her and no one can blame him, as Megan is fabulous. Fabulous! They goes to the wedding. Megan have a words to say. Starts telling what she had faced in her trip until she reached here. Meanwhile, Blair and Megan find Alden comes to the wedding. Megan feels excited. Alden returns Megan, the trophy she wants. They talk together about uniting theater companies. Alden asked Megan that he wants to be sure that they don't hate each other anymore. Megan asked him to join her in a dance. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications.